welcome to my channel are you really fasting do you really want to know how you can heal yourself with fasting oh yeah you had the right channel. stay back and watch this video to the end for you to really know how you can heal yourself with fasting and please like this video subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the notification bell down below for you to be notified anytime i make a new video i'm sure you're fasting are you overweight do you have diabetes do you have high blood pressure do you have fibroid do you have infertility issue name it what type of health issues do you have this is the right video for you to learn how you heal yourself with this fasting you are doing right now today i'm going to show you the road to elderly living do you keep getting sick do you really want to stop getting sick do you know all the cell in the body is a living entity with its own metabolism and they need good nutrients and oxygen for them to get healthy lack of nutrients sluggish metabolism weak immune system lack of good food lack of water lack of fresh air overeating overeating poor digestion all these cause the body to get weak and shut down these are the reason why you get sick when you are sick just about half of the cells in your body are functioning the other half of the cells in your body are dying and some are dead this is when fasting comes in as the most effective way for you to restore your health and awaken your body during the fast the process of eliminating the dead and dying cells speed up and the new cell accelerates and stimulates here lies the secret of extraordinary effectiveness of fasting as curative and rejuvenating therapy. Your body will first decompose and burn those cells and tissues which are diseased, damaged, aged or dead. In fasting, your body feeds itself on the most impure and inferior materials, such as dead cells moving accumulations, tumors, absences, fat deposits, sugar and parasites. During fasting, while the old cells and disease tissues are decomposed and burned, the building of new healthy cells is speed up. During a fast, the eliminative and clinic capacity of the eliminative organs, lungs, liver, kidneys and the skin is greatly increased and masses of accumulated metabolism, waste and toxic are expelled. This is due to the fact that the eliminatory panel, liver and kidney are relieved from the burden of digesting food and eliminating resultant waste and concentrate on the cleansing of old accumulated waste and toxic and uric acid parents. During this, the nervous system is rejuvenated, mental power are improved, gladular chemistry and hormone secretions are stimulated and increased. The biochemical and mineral balance of the tissue is normalized. Deciding what to abstain from is one of the choices you must make when preparing to fast and what type of fast you are going for. Once you've decided what you are abstaining from, you will be able to plan accordingly. If you are fasting from junk food, then plan ahead so there is no junk food in the house. Giving it away may be sacrificed enough. If you are fasting for healing, then make sure you have some apps available to speed up your healing process. You must get serious, even if only for a brief. That's the real fact. Occasional short fast. This is where most people start, whether denying yourself food or some other pleasure. An occasional fast that lasts 6, 12 or 24 hours is the most manageable. Nevertheless, you must treat it with the same sincerity as a longer fast. It is not insignificant just because it is short, but it does allow you to discipline yourself and get ill. Intermittent fast. Intermittent fasting involves daily fasting for 16 hours. Sometimes this is also referred to as 8 hours eating window. You eat all your meals within an 8 hours time period and fast for the remaining 16 hours. Generally, this is done daily till the end of the fasting. Long fast. A long fast is a 24 hours fast that lasts from dinner to dinner or breakfast to breakfast, whatever you like. For example, 
you would eat dinner at 7 p.m. and then fast until the next day dinner at 7 p.m. You do not usually go a full day without eating since you are still taking one meal on that fasting day. How you begin and conduct your fast will largely determine your success. So you have to choose from water fasting, juice fasting, fruit fasting, smoothie fasting. Water fast. Water fasting is a type of fasting in which you consume only water. One may water fast for a variety of reasons. Juice fast. Juice fasting also known as juice cleansing is a type of diet in which a person consumes only fruit and vegetable juice while abstaining from solid food consumption. Fruit fast. Unlike water or juice fast, the fruit diet allows you to eat all fruit rather than just liquids. Smoothie fast. On this fasting plan, you will prepare and drink fruit or vegetable smoothie as a meal replacement. You are also allowed to take fruit, juice and water. My fasting experience. Sometimes October 2018, I was really sick. I was really, really sick. I was down in bed for weeks. And the test results keep coming back as typhoid. As an other person, I do just treat myself. I go for a test for treatment. And the test keep coming back as typhoid. I started taking halves. And after a week, I'll get well. And before you know it, I'll get down again. I'll go back for a test and it'll come back as typhoid. So I keep on asking myself, why do I keep getting sick? So I decided. I decided to, to do fasting and that was because as a general last year I tried to, to take in I and my husband tried to have a baby and I tried to take in and that January it didn't happen and I was mad so why so I tried to go for fasting I placed myself on one month fasting and you will not believe it before the end of the fasting I took in I'm still going to do a video on how you can overcome typhoid and ever since then I have not been sick ever since then I have not been sick of typhoid no matter the type of health condition you are having fasting is the number one key that can help to boost your immune system you know immune system help to fight a lot of diseases in the body so the number one key is fasting and remember to boost it up with a nice abs or help to fight that disease with some abs that we can use to fight it that you can take pride in fast that can help boost your immune system, that can help fight your infection, that can help regulate your sugar level back in the day. So that's so why I share with you some apps that you can take to do Please like my videos, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to click on the notification bell down below for you to be notified anytime I make a new video and leave a comment. CCFT, a tea made of cumin, coriander, and fennel seeds, affectionately known as CCFT, is beneficial for everyone as it supports the digestive system while gently removing toxins. Peppermint tea, mint tea helps to calm the stomach. If you experience stomach issues during fasting or lately, it gives the stomach a peaceful aid for it to relax and calm since it's been through so much while eating food. Also help to improve digestion, reduce pains, eliminate inflammation, relax the body and mind, cure bad breath and boost the immune system. Ibiscus tea. Ibiscus tea is a wonderful app to help cleanse and detox the body. It also allows the organs to rest. It helps relieve from high blood pressure, high cholesterol, boost the immune system, and help inflammatory problems. Sea moss. Sea moss contains over 90 minerals. It is used for obesity arthritis, joint pain, digestive disorder, heartburn, blood cleansing, constipation, dry cough, 
urinary tract disorder, boosting the immune system and increasing energy. Alkaline water. Alkaline water is a mixture of water and lemon or lime. It helps slow down the aging process, regulate pH level of the body and prevent various chronic disease. Alkaline water helps to neutralize acid level in the body, which normal water cannot do. Golden seal tea. Golden seal tea is another app that is beneficial for people during a fast as it is natural antibiotic and supports the immune system while it helps to fight infection in the body. Chamomile. Chamomile tea is loaded with antioxidants that may play a role in lowering your risk of severe diseases, including heart disease and cancer. Chamomile has properties that aid good sleep and digestion. Ginger tea. Ginger tea helps to smooth and offset stomach. Drinking it can help you get full. Ginger also has the added benefit of supporting your digestion and immune system, so you can be less hungry and stay healthier too. Insulin tea. Insulin leaf tea is a very effective tea for diabetes. The consumption of the tea reduces blood sugar level rapidly. It also controls cholesterol level, which is usually high due to diabetes. It also protects the liver and kidneys. 